Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with The Boathouse. Today we are on the brand new Solus 32 CS here at the Miami Boat Shell. We'll start up here in the bow and kind of work our way throughout the boat. You start up here, nice very large anchor locker up on the bow of the boat. Plenty of fall, that way your anchor and line and all will not get tangled up as you're bringing, bringing your anchor back in. Nice oversized storage for your fenders down below in there. Stepping back a little bit, really nice wraparound seating around the front of the boat. As you guys all know, with Solus boats, all your seats are all on magnets. Pop off really easy, you don't have to deal with any snaps or anything like that. Underneath your seats, nice large storage compartments on either side of the boat. Close that off, you're gonna have all finished off lids. Really nice fit and finish on this boat. Moving back a little bit further, nice oversized memory foam day lounger. It's angled back so you don't feel like your butt is sliding out off the front of the boat. It really keeps you up against there very, very comfortable. On either side of the gunnels, you're gonna have nice storage compartments. On this side, plenty of storage for all of your tackle. One box back from that, it's gonna be life vest storage. On this side over here, you have your trash can magnetic little access hatch or you can open it all the way up to get to that trash can stepping back a little bit further you're going to have that storage for those life vests they're bungeed in there so they're not going to bounce around you can fit three of them on either side plus three to six additional ones above your head additional storage underneath here really cool feature down back here you're going to notice is your wash down hoses you've got them on either side of the boat you can choose whether you want fresh or raw water on either side both port and starboard that as you come back to the back side here you have a nice holder for that hose clip your handle in just really nice and clean setup keeps the deck nice and organized you're not having to worry about stuff sitting on the floor just a really good setup on both sides you're gonna have nice oversized fish boxes this is gonna be a dual fish box, well, all, all one bottom, but dual doors. That way you're not having to tell someone to move if you're fishing to get off the box. They can just slide over and open up half of it. Moving further back of the boat, two nice large oversized live walls on either side. You have a nice fish box here in the center for either your drinks, catch. Got a nice dagger tray divider there in the center. Really, really nice setup. On those days you are fishing, do the capabilities of removing all of those cushions, pop them right off for a nice clean setup. As you are sitting up here, you do have the flip down rest, that way you're nice and comfortable sitting on the back side of this boat. You don't to just have your feet dangling, really nice and planted, you're comfortable. Flip your arm rest down. You feel like you're secured in the back side of this boat, but you have plenty of visibility still. A little bit further forward from there, you got your tackle center here, really nice rear-facing mezzanine seat on the slide out on this cooler. It's a frigid, rigid cooler. Again, that seat just pops right off. You don't want that on there. Slide that back in. You got plenty of room in the back side of this boat. On this side of the boat, on the port side of the boat, you're gonna have a nice dive door, oversized door. Flip open the hatch. A lot of boats do not have that integrated dive ladder. And look how beefy it is. Plenty of ladder to grab onto as you're climbing up. As you are climbing up on the boat as well, flip out your handle. That'll give you that nice support then to get back in this boat. Another fish box on the floor on this side. As you move forward from here, you're gonna have a really nice mitigation system in the floor for those comfortable for those long days. You're gonna stay nice and comfortable. Oversized seats, flip down that bolster, you've got a nice footrest in the floor, you're comfortable, you're up high enough for plenty of visibility, or flip it up for a nice leaning post then. At the helm here, nice large oversized garments in the dash. All of your switching is either gonna be on the dash or in this soulless helm here. It's really nice clean display on board. Got your wireless phone charger, joystick controls, trim tabs. Everything's all right here at the cockpit, really easy to utilize. Another great feature on all the Solus is, is this power windshield. As you see, it's open right now. I can close it on those hot days. You may just want to crack it just for a little bit of airflow. Or if you're in some weather and all, close it all the way. It's going to seal you off, keep you out of the elements. Just really great feature on board. As you step down below into the cabin, I'm six foot one, nice oversized cabin. I've got plenty of headroom in here. Toilet right here, nice 
deep berth. Me being six foot, I can lay out in here, plenty of room. I've got enough room to get a good night's sleep in here. Plenty of storage all the way around and a really nice feature if you're not gonna use this for sleeping quarters. Flip this up. Now you got nice lockable rod storage down inside that berth if you're doing an overnight somewhere and you don't wanna bring all those rods in. All right down here, really easy to get to. Just a great setup for this size boat. We can do a couple different features on that. You can do air conditioning down below in the berth. You can do a microwave in there. So depending on how you're utilizing that boat, you can definitely set it up for your liking. In terms of some of the specs on this boat, it's gonna be a 32 foot boat. You're gonna have a 10 foot three beam on it. A couple different power options, anywhere from 300s all the way up to the Mercury 450s. So this boat's got a lot of speed to it, a lot of comfortability, just a lot of great options on board. So if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Jeremy Eck with The Boathouse. Feel free to give me a call, uh, stop in the store, whatever it may be. Look forward to hearing from you and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.